Hello everyone, this is Supreeta from Informatica and in this video I am going to show you how to load an Oracle resource in a Metadata Manager warehouse. So the agenda is basically to give information on what are the prerequisites to load Oracle resource. I'll be going through the configuration details and also the steps to load Oracle in Metadata Manager. So all of this will be done in the form of, dem of a demo. So if you want to extract metadata from Oracle database, you, you would need to do some configurations and also need to configure permissions. And because when you load the resource, Metadata Manager, it extracts the schema detail from an Oracle database and you would need some permissions to connect to the database. So you would have to configure connect and select catalog role permissions for the user account and if your metadata manager service is running on a linux machine you would need to configure the dns names or a file so that the connection string and the host name and oracle uh, sid the port number these information is is captured in the dns names dot or a file this will help metadata manager to access the oracle database and if your metadata manager service is running on a windows platform then you would need to configure the data source basically the microsoft uh, that's done through the microsoft, uh, microsoft odbc configuration so let's start with the demo so i have here with me an oracle schema which contains just a couple of tables which are known as emp table and person table and the emp table and all of i just would need to load a couple of tables to show you in the form of demo you can load lots of metadata from oracle resource so this is just for demo purpose and here you see the host name of this and the oracle sid so that's that's what it is and so let's let's start with logging into MMUI and then loading the Oracle resource. So currently I'm now in the machine where my metadata manager service is running. So this metadata manager service is currently running on a Windows platform. So I'll just show you how a DSN is configured for an Oracle resource. I already have a DNSN, a DSN for, for my Oracle. So you just need, if you want to add a DSN, you just need to go to ODBC data source administrator, click on add. And then you just need to select Oracle data direct seven Oracle wire protocol. When you do a finish, you'll be given and you'll be asked to fill up information about your database. So for example, you just give a sample DSN and DSN. So I'm just giving a sample DSN of DSN or 11 G2 dot word. Okay. Then give the host name of your Oracle server. So give the port number. SID information do a test when you do a test connection you'll be asked to enter the username and password for the schema so I already have it configured if you see if I do a car test connection I think I'll be able to go through fine and then let me type the password so test connection is established so we have all the information at hand. So let's log in now to the Informatica Metadata Manager UI. So once I log in, I go to the load tab and then I try to add a new resource. So you can add a new resource by clicking on to actions or just clicking on to the plus sign. It's one and the same thing. So click on to new resource, select the type of resource that you are trying to 
configure for this case it's Oracle now just give a name to it I'm just giving the name of it as Oracle sample okay already exists and once that's done you have to just you can give the username and password I'm giving the username and password now the JDBC URL it basically consists of information about your host name the port and SID so this syntax should do I just give quickly all the information the DSN or the connect string that I had con configured in my ODBC administrator was dsori11g2.world so let's go with that and let's do a test connection so here you see a test connection was successful so you just click on to next and then you'll find all the available schemas which are present in that database so select the schema that you want to extract here I add the schema currently I just want this and then I click on to finish once that is done I'll just give I'll just start the load operation so here is the arrow you just have to click onto that and and then the load will begin if you want to view the load details or the activities which is which is happening in in the back end you can just click on to load details and here you'll see all the information getting populated all right once that is already once that is done you'll you'll get an information of uh, that the load is successful and in indexing is successful so if you go and look at the load details you'll you'll find the following you'll find in the end it uh, finally says that the load was in the it was successful and the last step that took place was indexing let's go and look at the catalog tab and see what all objects are loaded if you go to the aura sample catalog you'll find the name of the schema and you'll see indexes packages and tables so these were the things that were already were actually present in, in my schema so I have two tables which got extracted emp and person and in case of primary if you want to look at the primary key and and just if you want to look at the columns you can just look at the go and look at the columns so for example my emp table had address emp and name and if you look in the right hand side panel you'll find the length data type and those kind of information if you want to look at the primary key and see if there is a primary key you just need to select this and then you'll find you'll get to know that the primary key was emp underscore pk so for demo purpose I just showed two tables and and one particular package but if you can just load huge amount of metadata and have all your metadata of your oracle repository in this metadata manager warehouse so for more information you can refer to your metadata manager admin guide you'll you'll get all kind of information and in that in that and how to configure oracle resource it's it's really elaborate in in that guide and if you have any anything to tell us then we would love to hear from you here are the links where you want you you can contact us thank you for for, for watching this video